Welcome to another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zack. And today we are taking a look at this. This is the brand new L adapter by Small Rig for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4 and 6K. It'll cost you about 20 bucks. And it is very, very interesting. It houses your HDMI and your USB Type-C. So let's jump over to the workbench and check it out. So first off, we have the L adapter right here. Now it will come with this Allen wrench, which you will never, ever, 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 ever use. So you can just throw that away. It is nice L shape. It is made of plastic. It feels like it's a little bit of a rubbery plastic. And you get your HDMI and your micro USB type C. Now there is a screw here and it is removable, um, but I would just keep it in. And there you have it, folks. Those are the thrills and chills of this adapter. Now let's jump over to my camera and check it out in action. Putting this thing on is extremely easy. What you would do is you line it up, you get it started. And what you wanna do is you want to find the bottom hole of the back of the cage and you wanna start turning as you press with your thumb. And this is pretty rock solid. Now I do wish maybe uh, that there was another screw up here, but this works just fine. Uh, it's not loose at all. And then just hook up your drive here, your HDMI and then go ahead and hook up your USB Type-C. Removing this thing is very easy. You pull your wires, and what you wanna do is you wanna start turning the knob and start pulling this very loosely. Um, use the knob more, and that'll help you guide it out. All in all, works really well. I do find that this is a little bit annoying. It is a little bit in my way uh, as far as this for this particular setup. Now, if I were using an external monitor and I had put the monitor right up here uh, and had a very, very short HDMI cord, uh, that would work really, really well, just going across the top of the camera. Also, um, if I had a handle with the USB Type-C in it, that would be great as well, because when you flip this around, if you try to do this in the normal fashion, you will find that your cord is just too short. You will need to use the actual cord that comes with the uh, Samsung T5. And again, it's a big old cord coming around and going up the front. I like these little cords here, these little USB Type-Cs. Uh, they're rubberized and they're very solid and they're very small to keep everything small. So all in all, this works really well. Well, um, it is just not for me. One thing I will say is that this will not work with the Condor and Blue cage. Uh, unfortunately, it is small rig proprietary only. Uh, so I will be actually returning one of these. So let's jump back over to the main table for my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this guy is this is extremely well made. Once again, Small Rig has made a very quality product. There are a few caveats and there are, there are a few reasons why this adapter just isn't for me. Um, I do highly recommend it, but again, I, here in the studio, I probably won't use this. Um, first off, the fact that the wires come out of the back of the camera, they do, I do use the back of my screen. I do not use an external monitor. Uh, when I'm kind of you know focusing, I do have the big TV over here so I can see, but primarily I'm using the back of the camera and the wires are sort of kind of off to the side and kind of distracting and then the way, um, they are off to the side, so they're not blocking the screen, but um, because I have the way I have my drive rigged up, um, it is a little bit kind of distracting for me. Uh, also, this will not fit another cage. It has to be a small rig cage. Even if you remove the screw, this will not fit my Condor and Blue cage. I did buy one of these for, for that cage. I will be returning it. Uh, unfortunately, it just doesn't go. It's just the clearance isn't right and it just doesn't go in all the way, uh, which is upsetting. Now, I do know that Tilta does make one of these. Uh, however, I believe that is just H for the HDMI. Uh, let me know below uh, if I'm wrong. And uh, yeah. So very, very sad. Hopefully Condor and Blue will start making something like this as well because uh, this would really work well with my overhanging camera to get the wires out of my way. Uh, this would help a lot. But unfortunately, the small rig version just does not work on that cage. So all in all, for 20 bucks, if you have this thing on a shoulder rig, if you have a V-mount battery blocking your monitor and you are using an external monitor on top of your camera, uh, this is a pretty decent uh, little adapter and I highly recommend it. So. That's it, those are my thoughts, but I wanna know yours. So leave your questions and comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash that bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.